Channel 9 Sports with Aaron Rich. They say those who can't do teach, those who can't play sports, well, they talk about it. And well, to prove that's just a theory, we turn to a special guest. The Chihuahuas have only been in town for a week, but have already taken El Paso by storm. And to assume a, tonight's sports cast in a way that nobody else can, we turn to our special News Channel 9 sports correspondent and Chihuahuas infielder, Cody Decker. Cody, take it away. How's it going? I'm Cody Decker, Chihuahuas infielder, first baseman, third baseman, catcher, left fielder, right fielder, DH, pinch hitter, all around handsome guy, strong jawline, fantastic chin. It, I'm wearing a bow tie. I'm also wearing sunglasses. It's nighttime. Listen to a Corey Hart song today. Got inspired. Here are your highlights for the game today. That right there is a single by Tommy Medic up the middle. That's going to get us a run. Yep, we're only down by two at this point. That right there is a bomb by Kyle Blank. He's about eight feet tall. It's not surprising that happened. Follow that right there. That's that handsome guy right there. Number 14, Cody Decker hitting a single to left center field. No big deal. Bunts me over first and second. No one can make a play. Followed by an attempted safety squeeze right over here by Jake Lemmerman, fellow Team Israel teammate back in the World Baseball Classic. Bases loaded right here for a wonderful, wonderful single up the middle by Rico Noel. Scoring in that wonderfully handsome fella, Cody Decker. Look at that, just sitting there waiting, no one else scores. I run in, give a few high fives, all that jazz. Right there, bloop single by Raymond Fuentes, scores in two more. That gives us a pretty sturdy lead right there. And next thing you know, we walk away with the ball game. Yep, seven to four, three runs. That's more than two, less than four. We got another one tomorrow. Should be a lot of fun. Another sweet highlight here, some ex-Chihuahua players on the field. Right there, Rene Rivera, my former teammate over in Tucson, gets a double down the line. Shocking, it's a double. I've seen him run, scoring in at least one run, and then I think another one comes in. Yes, it does. Followed by over here, Yonder Alonzo gets a hold of that one. And right there, Cameron Mabin, former Chihuahua, scores for the win. Cameron Megan, best hair on earth. Phenomenal. Give him a little bit of a shower right there, just in case he didn't get it up earlier in the day. Your Padres, go ahead and take it out. Go Pods. Spurs going in there. Tony Parker scored about 37,000 points today in this massive blowout. Top notch basketball. Talking a little smack to an ex-teammate, can't remember his name. I'm a Laker fan, don't care. Another fast break, helps out in a little bit of a dunk here. What do you know, Spurs take it, taking on the LA Clippers after this series. Once again, Laker fan, not really caring, go Spurs. And uh, that's pretty much all I got. I'm Cody Decker, follow me on Twitter, at Decker6. Also, remember, bow ties are cool. <laughs> wow, well, if, uh, if I'm not careful, I may be out of a job. Thank you, Cody. I, I don't think I could have done it better myself. Uh, guys, I don't know. What do you Good job? I, yeah. That was very <laughs> impressive. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Although Anusha took issue when he said that he that that other guy has the best hair around. Right. Yeah, Anusha. Because I think you have the best hair. Oh, I think you have the best. Hair. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. No, Aaron. Uh, you know we need to do this more often I'll because Cody what. was great. When uh, when Cody flew in uh, Monday with the pink fedora, the pink ascot, and then the glasses. I, it, it was, I knew at that moment I had to have him on the show and it had to be tonight and I'm glad I made that. Actually, I was taking notes. You guys didn't see this. I was taking notes during it. Uh, lots of uh, there you goes and that right there's. I'm going to start uh, peppering those in, making sure that makes it in it. And uh, you know what? I think we might still have a little bit more left. Uh, we, we were not done with Cody quite yet. Uh, I'm pretty sure coming up after the break, we're going to have Cody doing your seven day forecast, your final look. Uh oh. Stick around. You're not going to want to miss that. <laughs> Welcome back, and as promised, we have one final look at your forecast, and Cody Decker has the honor. Cody? You notice that little break in the middle right there? We're going to be in Fresno, beautiful city. Wish it was a timeshare. Love to get in on that. Looks like it's the middle of a zombie apocalypse. <laughs> then we come back for a game, 90, and then 92. And hey. that's your week forecast. Now, Cody, like I said, he's going to be coming back next week. He's going to be leaving for Fresno. As he said, he'll be back, though, for a new series starting, uh, is it Friday or Saturday against Albuquerque? Could I see that forecast again? <laughs> Give I us the know. forecast one more time. Because uh, that would be Saturday. There Let's go. go. Saturday, looking forward Saturday, to that. Saturday back in town, going to be uh, facing Albuquerque, the Isotopes, uh, hopefully starting a new rivalry with uh, the, 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 the team up the street. I agree. Let's now, uh, we, wanted to, we wanted to ask you, uh, you've been in uh, El Paso now for six days, going on seven days yep. tomorrow. 
Uh, talk about uh, what, you, what you think so far. Phenomenal food, great fans, above average margaritas, basically everything I've ever wanted in life. <laughs> <laughs> and talk about the ballpark. Uh, maybe one of the best ballparks I've ever played in. The fans are oh, wow. crazy and rabid. I love it. I've never heard a stadium wide Decker chant. I'm walking out to a wrestler's walkout song, CM Punk, and there was a CM Punk chant that started. This place is awesome. Your fans are amazing. This, this town is the best. He's definitely going to be a, uh, a fan favorite. Well, we're glad you like it. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you right back here tomorrow morning with Noreen and Mark. Have a good night, everybody.